This video is about the difference in drilling methods used by USAID and Well Inventions. Well Inventions holds the patent of a new method of airlift reverse flow drilling. That process is by far the most efficient method of hand drilling boreholes that has ever been invented. The method you are watching now is a rotary jetting method used by USAID and Senegal. It is impossible for the rotary jetting method to attain the efficiency and low cost of the well inventions method. So what are the differences? The first difference is that my 2 inch drill package including a 4 inch uh, 4 cubic foot a minute compressor is $500 in the US and their 2 inch drill is 3000 US dollars. The next difference is that their pumps handle abrasive materials and my compressor has no abrasive materials. Their drill will not achieve slip velocity with a 10 inch hole and my drill will drill any size hole with sufficient slip velocity. Their drill requires drilling mud and mine normally does not. Their drill will plug the aquifer and ruin the water supply and mine will not. Their drill is heavy and difficult to handle and mine is not. Their drill has leaky swivels and mine has no swivel. Their drill gets weaker in drilling ability with depth and mine gets stronger. Their drill is more likely to fail due to its complexity and mine is simple and more dependable. Their drill is difficult to remove from deep excavations and mine simply floats out under its own power. Now looking at the patent drawing, it is easy to see the simplicity of my drill. The main parts are the bit, the air inlet, the drill stem with rubber sleeve ports, the upper discharge elbow, and the handles. Then you must add the air hose and compressor. That is pretty much the basic package of the drill. And with the exception of the bit, the drill is nearly all PVC plastic. I'm certain at the time these rotary jetted holes were drilled, USAID thought they would be fine but they were really a terrible deal for Senegal and the U.S. The U.S. should never again use rotary jetting or any other method other than airlift drilling. Just look at the next clip as the 4-inch drill, already at 120 feet deep, sucks down the borehole into the Indian terrain. This drill will handle stones up to 5 inches by 3 inches. This is how drilling is supposed to be done. Now let's watch the 2-inch drill as it sucks up coarse cuttings from the bottom of a newly drilled 8-inch borehole. This drill stem easily brings up stones more than 1.5 inches in diameter as it drills through alluvial soil. It is time to abandon the old ways and move into the 21st century. There is only one way to best use your drilling dollars, and that is by using the reverse flow airlift method of well inventions.